um, certain directions that AI could take that would be uh, not good for the future. The, the, I mean, it, it, I think it'd be fair to say that like not all AI futures are benign, not not all. Okay. Um, and and so if you have something, if if, if this if we create some digital superintelligence that exceeds us in every way by a lot, um, it's very important. Artificial intelligence, according to Wikipedia, the theory and development of computer systems that are able to perform tasks normally requiring human intelligence, such as perception, speech recognition, decision making, and translation between languages. Decades ago, these systems were quite rudimentary and never looked promising at all. The idea seems promising, but it seems too good to be true at the time. There is no way these cranky systems, a piece of code on a computer, could ever make it into the real world where complex decisions need to be made, convoluted information need to be dissected, and room for error in certain circumstances is minimal. Hence, at the time, scientists who were interested in these systems parted from the limelight, underfunded and neglected, but they never gave up and they continued to work on these systems, tweaking the code improving the overall training and development of these models, which has built the very foundation of where we are today. A key moment came in 1997 when Gary Kasparov, who was world chess champion, took on IBM's supercomputer called Deep Blue, in which the supercomputer won. This computer could calculate over 200 million positions per second. Yes. It wasn't really that smart, but it was a pattern recognition system, which is what most AI systems could be broken down into, and it also got the job done. In 2002, iRobot created the first commercially successful robot for the home, an autonomous vacuum cleaner called Roomba. And this was a big achievement for artificial intelligence. The robot's internals and mechanism might seem simplistic, but it showed scientists and entrepreneurs that these things can be commercialized, which is good for funding and further development. A deeper integration came in 2008 when Google released a speech recognition app on the iPhone. This further showed that AI is here to stay. A year later, Google started its secretive self-driving project it is perfecting today. Since then, it has been a forward momentum for the entire industry. Companies started to invest in these technologies and reap rewards from it. Google, Amazon, Facebook, Tesla, and others have poured billions in the industry, and there is no turning back the clock now. The robots are taking over our everyday lives, but are we prepared? Are we ready for such a society where machines are taking on more important roles and workers are being automated out of the job? These are questions that key stakeholders must talk about before it's too late.